Now previously we have introduced the Maya via Torres sequence. This sequence allows us to compute the cohomology groups of a manifold M using an open cover of M consisting of two open sets U and V. Now in this video we want to talk about a special case of this which happens quite often. This is when U and V are connected and also uh, their intersection is also connected. In that case, we claim that M itself is also connected and that this sequence in degree 0 um, must be exact, which means that this map J star here must be surjective. This implies in particular that we can start the long exact sequence with H1. Right, so we have this following sequence, it's going to be exact. We will use this quite often. So why does exactness of this sequence here implies exactness of this sequence here? In other words, uh, why does the subjectivity of this J0 implies injectivity of this I1? Well, that's because of exactness here, right? So because of exactness here, we know that the kernel of this I1 is going to be the image of this uh, D map, yeah? Now, by the first isomorphism theorem, this image is going to be isomorphic to H0 of U intersect with V, quotient now by the kernel of this D map, right? But now, by exactness here, we know that this is just going to be equal to, um, this kernel is going to be equal to the image of J0. So, in other words, this quotient is the co kernel of this map J0, which must be trivial because of exactness here. Right, this must be trivial because J0 is subjective, so this image is the full H0 of U intersect with V. And thus, if we can show that the sequence is exact, then we know this map is injective, and so we can start our long exact sequence at the level H1, as follows. So now let us show that this sequence is exact. In other words, let us show that this map J0 here is actually um, subjective. Now, because U, V are connected, so we know that these H0 cohomology group is just going to be isomorphic to R, right? So what is this map if we identify these cohomology groups with R? Recall that by definition, this is the difference map, right? So if we identify these with R, then this map sends a pair, A, B, to the real number B minus A. Thus clearly, this map is surjective. So we see that this sequence must be exact. Now, what is its kernel? Well, observe from here that its kernel would be the diagonal right, in R square. This is the subset of the plane consisting of points of the form A, comma A. Right? In particular, this is isomorphic to R as a vector space. So we see that H0 of M is just going to be isomorphic to R, and thus M must be connected, because remember that H0 counts the number of connected component. Thus we see that if U, V, and their intersection is connected, then M itself must be connected, and this sequence in degree 0 must be exact. In particular, we can start the long exact sequence with the term H1. So we know that this I1 map must be injective.